Hi everyone, in this example we will look at a word problem with arithmetic series in which we already know the number of terms. So here's the problem. A clock sounds every half hour and every whole hour. So every half hour it rings once and every whole hour it rings the number of times equal to the clock showing on the dial. So for example at 1 o'clock it rings once, at 8 o'clock it rings 8 times, at 2 o'clock it rings twice, at 12 o'clock it rings 12 times. So the question is, how many times will it ring in a whole day? All right, so how do we go about doing this? Well, I guess there's two parts to this problem. The first part is that the clock rings every half hour, and the second part is that it rings every, full, every whole hour. So we can isolate the two halves because um, the two halves are separate. So every half hour it rings once, and there's a total of 24 hours in a day. So from the half hour rings, there is a total of 24. But now we have to worry about the full hour rings. So let's calculate how many times the clock rings on one revolution across the dial. So it rings once at 1 o'clock twice at 2 o'clock, three times at 3 o'clock, four times at 4 o'clock, all the way to 12 times at 12 o'clock. So that's one revolution. But we have to go two revolutions because there's two 12 hours in one day. So the final answer is 24 times for the half hours and two times 1 plus 2 all the way to 12 for the whole hours. So now the trick is to calculate what this series inside here is. And to do that, we can draw our knowledge of how to sum arithmetic series. That is equal to 1 plus 2 times. So remember that this is just the first term. So that's 1 plus the last term, which is 12, times the number of terms. In this case, there's 12 divided by 2. So that is equal to 24 plus 2 times 13 times 6, which is equal to 24 plus, that would be 100, I believe, 156 is 12, uh, 13 times 6. Um, or 12 times 12 times 13. So that is equal to 180. Whoops, 80. Sorry, 190 times. Or 180 times. My math is a bit rusty in this video, but so that's your answer. Basically, what we did is we converted this word problem into its statement, an expression which we could use arithmetic series to solve easily. And uh, the answer is just 24 plus 2 times 1 plus 2 all the way to 12, which is 24 plus 156, which is 180.